All right, so this video will be a short follow-up on the video I made yesterday about the Fracturizer virus. If you're not aware of the virus that's currently going around in the Minecraft community, I would highly recommend watching my video from yesterday. There, I will go more in detail on what exactly has happened, how the virus is actually spreading, and what the consequences of you getting infected are. And in that video, I'm also showing how to see if your PC is already infected. Now, let's say you did everything I showed in last video, but still you're scared you might have some infected jar files on your pc well there's now a way to scan jar files to see if they're infected with fracturizer and i'm gonna show you how to do that okay so if you've watched yesterday's video then you're already familiar with this website this is the curse forge support website and over here you will be able to download the detection tool to see if your windows or linux pc has been infected by the way in yesterday's video i said the mac could also be infected this turns out to not be the case it's only windows and linux that are at risk now below this detection tool we now also have a link to another tool detect if you have any dormant slash other infected mods slash jar files so this tool will actually be able to scan your jar files to see if they're infected yes or no so what you want to do is simply click on the text linked here which will then start a download now that we've downloaded the jar infection scanner we first want to unarchive it so just right click and then choose for extract all then when this screen pops up just click on extract once again and there you go this folder should appear then simply open the folder open this folder as well and then it will show a whole bunch of files now over here what you want to look for is the jar infection scanner.exe so just locate it and then open it now upon opening it this is what you will see it's called the jar malware scanner and this program can scan your jar files so what you want to do is simply click on on browse and then choose for a folder where your mods or plugins or other jar files are located so in my case i don't have any mods installed on my pc currently but i do have a Minecraft server here with plugins installed so this is the plugins folder of my Minecraft server there are a lot of jar files in there so i'm just gonna choose for this folder then click on select now your path should be located here so inside of test server one there is a folder called plugins and that's the one the malware scanner is gonna scan and now you simply want to click on scan so click then wait for a little bit and there you go scan complete no infected files were found now let's just scan another one so this is test server 2 over here i'm also going to select the plugins folder click on select folder there we go test server 2 scan it as well and luckily there were no infected jar files found now i'm also going to scan my dot minecraft folder if you have any mods installed then this is where you put them so i think this one is good to scan here you will see the path so user kasai app data roaming minecraft let's scan it and let's hope there are no infected files now there are actually quite some files here so it might take a little bit but let's hope my pc is not infected and luckily that is the case scan complete no infected files found okay guys that will be it make sure to scan your minecraft mods and plugins and maybe even all the other jar files on your pc just to be sure you're safe but if you did everything i showed in last video and you also scanned all of your jar files with this scanner then you should be good. All right, that will be it. Guys, stay safe.